Hello everybody, happy Friday night. I'm coming on to film some happy mail that I got from Tina. Tina is Miss Crafty Bean here on YouTube and she sent this beautiful card. Look at this adorable image. It's a little garden girl. I love her little shoes. I love this little um, gingham heart that you added to it. Look at how cute this image is. I love her little sunflower hat. It's just adorable and she's got a little watering can and she's holding a kitty and some flowers. Oh, that's such a beautiful, beautiful card. Isn't that sweet? And then inside it says, when friends gather, hearts warm. So pretty, Tina. I just love this. And she wrote me a beautiful note and uh, she sent me some happy mail. Um, and we had talked a little bit about what's in here. She had some duplicates of things and she wanted to share some stuff. Um, let me open this up so we can take a peek. And um, Oh, look at this. So this is a Stamps by Judith. If you're not familiar with Stamps by Judith, it's a wonderful stamp company. And this is a beautiful little Christmas tree, almost like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, sorta. Isn't that adorable? So that'll be really fun to play with. Thank you. Oh my goodness, so you must have had a duplicate of that. She said she had some duplicates and she was sharing them. So let me show you what she sent. These are peg stamps and I have a snowflake and I think I have a couple others, like a dot one. And she had gotten a bunch of these. So this is looks like we have um, a candy cane, a cupcake, and I hope you guys can see these okay. A saw, a bottle, a little strawberry. That's adorable, look at the little strawberry. That's so cute. And then I think that might be a, a cheerleader or a basketball player or something. It's kind of hard to tell um, without stamping them out. And then what else is there? Oh, you sent me so many, sweetie. You're so kind. Um, there's a little heart. That'll come in handy. Um, oh, cherries. That's so cute. Look at the little cherries. Cherries. Um, a little purse. Oops. Sorry, you guys. This one's a little purse. Um, this one looks like a little girl with pigtails. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. It might be a flower. It's hard to tell. Um, and then there's another heart. This one's a solid heart. And a little, um, this one's a little, I think this is a tulip right here. And then this one's another cherry. And it's a single cherry. So there's a double cherry and a single cherry. That's really cool. And an open heart and a closed heart. So you could stamp one over the other. Oops. Those will be fun to play with. And these are nice to just keep on a cup, in a cup on your desk. Because sometimes when you're finishing a card, you just need a little stamp just to kind of finish it off or whatever. So these are good to have. Oh, and these are more hearts. Or no, that's a chocolate chip, I think. I think that one's a chocolate chip. And then there's some that are little snowflakes and a bottle of Coca-Cola and a little tiny Christmas light. Oh, that's so cute. And so there's a chocolate chip and then there is another heart. So I might be able to share a couple with a friend um, if I have duplicates too. Oh, and then look at this. So this still needs to be trimmed, but this is a beautiful star. So that would make a really cute background for like a little image or something. So I'll have to trim this out and then um, stamp this out and see what it looks like. It looks really cool. I like that. I don't know if you, how well you guys can see it, but it's got a really beautiful pattern in it. And the pattern almost is like prim hearts. Oh, that's really pretty. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. Oh my gosh. So all of those. And then if that wasn't enough, you guys, she had a duplicate of this and she asked me if I had it and I told her I didn't have it. And my mother in love is a bird watcher, so this will be co come in handy to make cards for her. And this is by Hero Arts. And if you're curious, it is called Birdhouse Village. And there's the number. Okay. So just a really sweet um, set of birdhouses. And I love when they do the colored tops because it gives you an, uh, kind of like a suggestion on how you could color it. It doesn't mean you have to color it that way, obviously. But it's fun to have something that you can look at while you're coloring. So I often will set this out on my desk after I stamp it just so I can look at the colors. So that's a beautiful stamp. And then there's a whole set of these little one-inch square stamps. And 
Um, these are a lot of fun for doing cards where you just stamp six squares and uh, and then you color them different colors and then add a sentiment and you can make a set of note cards really quick and these are by dots okay and uh, there's the back side of it but I love these little images this is so cute with the button and this one is like a fabric with a heart and a button and then this one is kind of a gingham pattern with a rose and then there's a plain gingham that has some little tiny um, like sewing dots around the outside and then this one is a little pattern and then this one is a flower pattern so you could definitely set this up to where you have um, you know you set it up to stamp it so that it you know on your card and then color them in and it would make a really cute set of note cards so I'm gonna play around with those I really like them Thank you for sharing those. And then um, and then look at this. Oh my gosh, Tina, this is an entire Stamping Up Nature's Christmas, it says. So the name on there is Nature's Christmas, if you can read it. And uh, look at these images. There's a beautiful two from with a poinsettia. There's this beautiful wreath with the cardinal. And I love the pine cones in here. And then there's this adorable birdhouse image and it also has a pine cone and a pine uh, frond or branch. There's a cardinal. There's this little pine cone and branch. And these are really neat as filler um, when you're making tags and stuff or on the back of a card or in the corners of your card. Little stamps really come in handy. Like here's the snowflakes that you could do as a border down a card. Um, you could also stamp a quick background by just repeating it. Um, and then here's another border, and this one has poinsettias and cardinals. So you can also do these like at the top and the bottom and then have an image in the middle. So this is a beautifully um, laid out set, and I love this Merry Christmas too. So a beautiful, beautiful, I can't believe you sent that. Thank you so much, Tina. You, I'm going to have to do something sweet for you. And then on top of that, she sent me a bunch of stamped images and of different ones that she really liked. And I, I love this peach one. Isn't that cute? I just love that. And this is a sweet little image. I forget what company. Is this Serendipity Stamps, I think. And I'm not sure about this, but that's beautiful. So she just had stamped out a bunch of things that I could use. I love this one. I love doing this in my kitchen. I have a hanger like this and I often will dry herbs on it. Look at this cute little mug and a shelf. And then these are lemons and it says lemon, citrus, citrone. Um, and then there's pears. So you could do a series on a card like do a do four different fruits or you know there's just all sorts of ideas popping through my head and you can also use these as fillers too I mean you could take the fruit and use it in fillers um, these are the crocs um, I that uh, are from stamps these are some of the stamps by Judith stamps and I love this larger size croc I think Elise has this I I um I can't remember if I have this one or not I have either the smaller one or the bigger one I can't remember but it's, these are really nice because you can like put little gingers poking out. You can do lots of different things when you have um, things that can be filled. Look at this cute bowl. And there's a couple different sizes. Look at the snowman. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love how he's a baking snowman and he's got a pot on his head. And he's holding the different utensils. That's adorable. And then this is another, like a soup bowl with saltine crackers. So this would be really cute. You could do a really simple get well card. And then some bowls. And then, oh, look at this stove. Oh my gosh. Tina, you're going to have to tell me which stamp this is. That's a really neat old stove. I lived in a house um, that had a stove like this in it for many, many years. And uh, I was renting and uh, I remember that stove. And then this is a really sweet little apron. Oh, that's so cute. And here's a bigger size bowl. Just makes me realize, Tina, how many good stamps were in that batch. Look at, this is another one of the stamps by Judith. And then this is a really cute stamp. I've seen this before, I don't have it. 
but this one's fun because you can cut the, into the mitts. Anytime you have things like this where you can insert something, so she could be holding something um, with the mitts, so you could definitely cut into these, cut around them, and then have her hold something. Um, look at this one. Oh, this is so cute. She's got Christmas tree mitts, and then if you look, she's got a little snowman tucked in her pockets. That's adorable. Oh, I can't wait to color that. And then look at this cute jar. Oh, these are just so sweet. Oh, look at Cookie Lover. I love that. Filled with love. Look at the little urn. And then she did some pies and a pie top. Oops. Oh, look at this one. That's adorable. A little crock with all the utensils in it. Oh my gosh, look at this. From my kitchen with love. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, so cute. Another little jar. And then this says, patience, kindness, laughter, love. A pinch of patience, a dash of kindness, a spoonful of laughter, and a heap of love. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you for sending that. And then this is three little jam jars. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Thank you for doing all this. Oh my gosh. See, she sent me a lot of that one because she knows I'll love it. <laughs> and then look at this little pumpkin. Oh, with the little spider. Isn't that cute, a little pumpkin witch? That's adorable. Oh my gosh. And these are the overalls from... Um, Impression Obsession, and uh, this is a cute little trick-or-treat witch. Aww. Oh, and a tall snowman with a birdhouse and a prim heart down on the bottom. Let's see. Can you see that one? I guess I can get it in if I go down. There we go. So cute. Oh, my goodness. There's the trick-or-treat witch again. And then she included a bunch of the Stamps by Judith Franz and some more crocs and smaller sized crocs and smaller sized um, barrels, so half barrels or wicker baskets, depending on, you know. But just look at all these sweet images. Little gates, I really like that. Ugh. Oh, and little bee scaps and pots and jars. You got some really neat stamps, Tina. That was a really a good thing that you did, I think, because, you know, it's hard finding all these things. You, you have to look for stuff, and it takes time. Look at those nice pots. And then look at these trees. Oh, I love this one with the little heart emblem at the bottom. Oh, wow, that is just adorable. I think this would be so cute with just some little prim hearts hanging from, you know, this. I love prim hearts. I just, that's what I would probably do. You know, color this in and then add some red prim hearts on here. So, oh, that's so, so sweet. Thank you so, so much, Tina, for everything you sent and for your beautiful card, which I'm going to go and put up on my windowsill so that I can look at it. And she even didn't even write in it so that if I wanted to, I could give it to somebody. But, Tina, I think I have to keep it because it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I, this is just the cutest little image. It's so sweet. I love how you colored it. I love this color brown that you used. It's a really nice kind of warm toned brown. So, and with the burgundy, it looks really good. So this is just beautiful. All of these stamps, there's so many, you guys. So I'm gonna have so much fun, Tina. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Blessings, my sweet friend. Okay, I'll be back with you guys soon. I actually have a little thrift, um, thrift haul to share too. So I'm going to try and get that filmed also. All right. Bye now.